pressure on Marina. They seem to have settled into this game after the first few minutes. Elise gets that one in midfield, playing a little bit forward, seems to have injured herself. It's Galore of one to three. Ball goes to Lauren Darcy, ready to, to kick in and put Marino under pressure. That's a very dangerous ball in. Anna Harrell's going for that. Two Marino players on her though. Marino come out with it all very scrappy and they hit it out, sideline ball. So line ball being taken right in front of the school where uh, subs and coach. A few words of encouragement maybe. It, into a very dangerous area. Looks like Anna Harold has it and it's a point. Great point for school where a good interplay there from the line ball. Looks like Jenny Dowling got that point. Kicked in by Lauren Darcy, put pressure on the goalie. Line ball to Marino. Skull over a half back line, run back, cover their positions. Alan is marking tight. It's a foul against Skull Another opportunity for Marino to come forward, try and close the gap. Skullwara plays marking close, this dangerous ball coming in. But it's taken away by Tamara, great play to Lauren into midfield. Opportunity here now for Skullwara. Julie Holmes is making great inroads there. Knocks the ball back, putting Skullwara under pressure. Unfortunately, it's a free out now. Pressure ease, but they kick it straight to Lauren Darcy. A couple of high tackles, but she's got round those under a bit of pressure now and has gone out so it's a sideline ball for Marina. This game now is very tight particularly in midfield. Cleveland made a great tackle there. Free for skill work. Maura Conway takes the free, hits it out to Lauren Darcy. Lauren comes in towards midfield, moves back out again. Into the half, back half forward line, well won. Lovely interplay, hand pass there into Sydney. Nearly overplayed there from Skullward, too many passes and the ball breaks to Marino and they come back with the ball. They come down the right hand side. Dangerous ball in, cut out by Tamara, under huge pressure, but wins that ball and wins herself to free. Well played, Tamara. Getting close to half time. Ball in midfield now, Sydney wins it. And that's it, half time here in Parky Trophy. So go into half time, score looks like it's 1 4 for Skull, where it's three points for Marino. For the second half here now, in the Kern Cummerling Cup final here in Parky Croakey, Wednesday, 26th of October 2016. We're ready for the throw in, just trying to work out if we have any changes in the lineup. Still looks very similar, just looking around the numbers here when they start. Looks like we're starting with the same 15. Ball's coming forward for Skullwara. We've started the second half at seven points to three, so one four Skull Wurra, three points for Marino, for Skull Vincent de Paul Marino. In a previous match in September 14, Marino came out winners by a point, but tide has turned a little bit here in Skull Wurra's favour. Let's hope this continues for the rest of the game. 
In the last game, they went down six points behind, had a very difficult challenge in the second half. So coming into half time here ahead is helpful, but Marino now have a free in and put Skullawara under pressure very early in the second half. Very dangerous ball, they get the point. So they pull one back to make the difference three. So one four to four points in favor of Skullawara. Sasha comes out with the ball, plays it into midfield, and it goes out. But it's Skullawara's ball hit out by the Marino player from midfield. Lauren Darcy jogs over, ready to take this throw, this uh, kick in from the line. Comes into the half forwards. Tomei tries to make the block, but it's won by Tamara in the half backs coming forward out to Lauren. Under pressure from the Marina defence, but gets it forward back to Tamara, but blocked. Amora, sorry. Oh well won Lauren. And she got it in there. Scrappy stuff in defence, but Lauren comes out with it. Skullwer a ball. Up to Molly. Molly comes down the wing. She still has it solos. Well, blocked by Marino. They win it. Coming down the line. It's still in play. Opportunity here. Oh, fantastic block from the defence. That looked like, from this distance, looked like Elise Byrne again. Has made three great blocks now so far in this game. And that's wide by Marina. So pressure off for another few moments. So great defending there. And school were making a huge effort here across the board. So hoping to go for their third win in five finals over the years. So two for four so far. Let's hope they can get the odds a little bit in their favour this year and make it three for five. Great ball into the forward line. Two players from Skullawara, but fighting hard for Marina. Want that ball. Tomeo wins it. Tackled high, but breaks the tackle. Going for a point. And she makes it. Hits the post, but goes over. Great play from Tomeo. Opens the gap again. Eight points to four, keeping that four-point gap. Julie Holmes wins that. Oh, tackle there, but ref let it go. But Marina's hit the ball straight out, so it's going to be a line ball now. Lauren's going to take it for Skullwara. Everybody's running around trying to lose their markers. Ball goes straight to the defence. They come out with it, but it's one back. Sydney, great play there, cut the ball off. Tomei and Sydney, good interplay. And with Lauren. Lauren's under pressure. But was fouled. Gets the free in. It just looks like it's within her distance, so I think this is very makeable. Steadies herself up. But puts the ball wide. It stays 1-5 to 4 points. So 8-4, that 4 point gap is still there. It's a close game, even with that four point difference, it can all turn in a goal. So pressure has to be maintained by Skullwara. Very dangerous ball in. Oh, and the ref's given a free in. It's a very dangerous position here. Skullwara's got to make sure they snuff out the opportunity for the goal. You'll see a few defenders now moving onto the line, hands up. Sasha's there in the middle trying to block this. Marino, maybe just take their point and close the gap. Play the percentages there, take the point and close the gap by one. Down to a three point game, one five to five points. Sasha brings it out, Jenny's going for that, gets down, but it's a free. Oh, it's a free for Skullwara. Lauren takes it. Hits it into Tomeo. Wins the ball. 
is lucky with the bounce. Going for the goal, going for the point, but puts it wide, unfortunately. So gap remains three. But school were a very direct play here today, this afternoon. Big kick from the goalie into midfield. It's knocked to Sydney. Sydney comes forward. It's drawn. Moore is putting them under pressure. Julie as well. But it's free for Marina. Too much pressure. Need to get a bit tighter to the fence here. Alana wins that ball against the run of play. She was against two forwards. Clears it out, but it's blocked. Awkward bounce. Looks like Mora has it. Oh, great block there for Marina, but it breaks for Sydney through midfield. Under pressure, huge pressure here, but manages to... And wins the free, earns the free. Got the ball there to Jenny, who was in a great position. But opportunity here now for Lauren to take her point. Again, just within her, within her range, so hopefully she can make that. But decides to go short to Sydney. Comes back again. And Lauren looks like she's got a lovely point. So three points now for Lauren Darcy. So one six to five points, four point gap. Looks like it's cleared by Tamara there, but it's still Marino coming forward with the ball. Nice kick in, dangerous save by Sasha, but the ball breaks in front of the goals. Well won by the defence. Need to clear it here. That's it. Pressure from Marino was too intense and great defending. Tomorrow it looks like earned the free and pressure alleviated for the next few moments. Elana looked like she took a heavy knock there as well. She's having a great game so far, so let's hope she stays on. That's it. Okay, a ball's hit into the crowd at midfield. Ball bounces, but it breaks for Marino. Good block by Lauren, but the ball breaks again. It's won by Sydney, though. Fought hard. Ball's given away. That's free, looks like for no, Marina has the ball, but it's won by the defence. Looks like Moore is bringing it forward. Very heavy marking by Marino here. They've been getting away with a few challenges, but breaks lovely for Lauren Darcy. On mark there is breaking forward. It's going straight for the goals. Oh, great tackle there from the Marina number six when a goal was beckoning there for Skullwara. But Lauren gets back to break that counter-attack. So Marino's luck holds there. That would have changed the complex of the game. But it's well won again. Looks like it's more it breaks it there. Sydney has the ball. She correct me, I think it was Jenny. Tomei under huge pressure here, was tackled, but got the ball away, so unlucky the advantage wasn't played there, unlucky for Skullwara. Just the way the shape of the team looks like Tomei has moved in full forward here, and Jenny's moved back to half forward. So a point there from the free, Lauren scores it to make it four for her. And wide, wide there for Marino. That keeps the score at 1 8 to 5 points. So Skull were managing here to stretch the lead a little bit.
It's a dangerous ball in. Sasha got her hands to it. Still pressure, great block. Some in front of the goals here, but great defending so far from Skullwork. Can they earn the free? And it's a free out. Great play by the defence. And the half forwards there, the half backs crowding out Marino. bring it forward good interplay there from midfield her half forwards have the ball but she's lost it looks up and great anticipation there by Alana to cut that one out that's a line ball for Marino Pressure here from Marino. It looks like it was won there by Skullwara. They take it away. One of the Conroys. It's two of them playing here, having a stormer so far. And it goes wide. Checking my scores there, I think it's actually 1 7 to 5 points. So, still a 5 point game. Free in for Marino. Taken straight from midfield here, this will drop dangerously, but.